Today's clip is taken from an interview on a chief speaking radio station based in Kumasi. The station is called Isra FM. I'll leave a link to their channel as well as the full interview in the description box further below. Please go and watch them. So on this show, they open it up to the public. So anyone at all can come in with their problems, their issues, and then they try to find solutions to them. So on this particular episode, this lady comes in with a marital issue. So she's been having some problems with her husband and she hopes to find solution to them. Now I read the monum who said the oil yaman a man caught me, my me horn of my old cum me. Timmy Pacay, or ye will want ye, Pacho ye may want ye. Then I know you, my Pacho, a branty and in your bouffoir, it was a senior near good freedom. No what tomb, and pie does not talk to you. And your name is a day, Pacho, and your name is a broad dear banche by your and your young one and I'm quiet. Then I'll be back here good freedom. Into a I'm a so I bed the dead men, my man, or not just say, my cotter, patcher you too. Mampacho de Woye ne ya tete in Sembia o or Becano. U ye na no pe no catch or say opaco. O me kwa na o bafu fro beba. So the host begins the conversation by asking the lady what to say, which we covered in one of our greetings lessons. I'll leave it up here. So she's asking what to say. And what to say means how are you? Okay, how are you? So when you meet up with someone and you want to ask how the person is doing, you can ask, oh, what to say? How are you? Ma mpa cho nyami adom, me So ma So ma is mom. So she's referring to the host as mom. Me pa is please. The short form, right? The full form is me pa chel. Me pa chel, please. And then she says, nyami adom. Nyame is one of the names that some people use to refer to God. So she says, Nyame Adom. Adom is grace. So when you say Nyame Adom, you are saying by God's grace. Okay? By God's grace. And then she adds, Mehoye. I am well. Okay? Mehoye. It's in, you know, that lesson. The host asks, Mehoye. Ewea is the afternoon. And ye is this. So when you say a year, you are saying this afternoon. The morning is anopa. So if you say anopei, you are saying this morning. Okay. Um, evening is enumere. So if you say enumere, you are saying this evening. Okay. Um, night is anajo. So if you say anaji, you are saying this night tonight. But she is asking it as a question. So she asks, this afternoon? Now, when someone visits you and you want to ask what brings the person in, depending on the time of day, you can use this as the question. Okay? So someone visits you in the afternoon and you want to ask, what brings you here this afternoon? You can ask, okay, okay. If the person visited in the morning, you can ask, Anopei, what brings you here this morning? Okay. If it's in the evening, you can ask, Enumrei, what brings you here this evening? Okay. If it's at night, then you can ask, Anaji. Okay, Anaji. So she is asking, Enyei. Me pacho again is please. 
a yay dear. As for this afternoon, we said if you place this dear after something, you are saying as for whatever came before this dear. Okay, so if I say me dear, as for me, what dear, as for you, coffee dear, on penipa, as for coffee, he doesn't like people. Okay, he's not friendly at all. All right. So he says, a ye dear, boko, boko is calm. So by this, she's basically saying that all is calm, as in what brings her there is all calm. But when you listen to the interview, you realize all is not calm. But like I told you in Ghana, when you ask someone how the person is doing or how are things with the person, they will mostly, you know, start with the good and then they go on to tell you about the bad. All right. So this is one clear example of that. So you would ask someone, for example, what to say, and the person will say, oh, eradia dum me hunye. But after telling you this, she then goes on to tell you about her issues or his issues. Mene abranti ebi ewareye. Mene abranti ebi ewareye. So we have me as I, and then we have ne, which is end, right? And then we have abranti. Abranti is a young man, okay? But there's be attached to that. When you say abranti ebi, you are saying a certain young man, okay? A young man, a particular young man that you are aware of. Ware is a verb that means to marry. Okay? So if I say me ware wo, I'm saying I will marry you. Okay? So me ne abranti ebi e ware ye. I and a young man got married. Na ware ni mo no me hu se de wo ye me no ma nko me ma me ho no ma obekun me. Na aware ni mo no me hu se de o ye me no ma nko me ma me ho no ma obekun me. So we have na aware ni mo no Awarie is marriage, the noun. We just learned that ware is a verb that means to marry. And from that, we get the noun awarie, marriage. Okay? And then we have mu, which is in. So, na awarie nu mu no. And in the marriage, mi hu se. Hu literally means to see. But it can also mean to realize. So, mi hu se. I realize that, or I can see that, dear or ye meno, the verb here is ye, which is to do, okay? But there's a re in front, which makes it progressive, doing. So, dear or ye meno, we have dear here as what, but what in the sense of that which, okay? So, dear or ye meno, what he or she is doing to me, okay? that which he or she is doing to me. So in this case, she's talking about the husband. So what the husband is doing to her, right? We have the verb ko, which is to go, right? But there's n in front, which makes it negative, okay? To not go. So mami is mother. So my mother, is me mami, okay? And then we have honum, and honum or a honum is there. This is one of the forms for there in chi. So we have a ho or ho or a honum or honum as there, okay? So you can use any of them. And we have a ha or ha or a hanum or hanum as here, all right? So if you want to say here and there, you can say a haneho. A haneho. So we have dear or yemeno. Man come mami honumwa. What he's doing to me if I don't go to my mom's place, right? My mom's there, literally. Obe kume. We have the verb kum, which is to kill. Okay? So obe kume. Be in front is the future marker. So it's not happened yet. So, obekume, he or she will kill me. In this case, we are talking about the husband, so we can just stick with he. I'm only using he or she because the pronoun in she, we don't distinguish between the gender, right? So, whether female or male, we still use the same form of the pronoun. 
So overall we have na awariye no mu no. Me hu se de oye me no. Ma nkome ma me ho no mu a me. And in a marriage I realized that what he is doing to me if I don't go to my mom's place he will kill me. So you can hear she was starting another sentence. She said intime pake. Intime pake. So you have inti. We said if you start your sentence with inti, you are saying so, right? But if you put it after something, you are saying because of what came before that. So here she is beginning the clause with it. So she says intime pake. Pake here is borrowed from to pack. Okay, the English to pack. So intime pake. You see, she's using you know she tends on an English verb because she has borrowed it into chi. And this is very common. So when we borrow verbs from um, English to chi, we tend to add, you know, chi tense to it. Else it doesn't work. Okay? So we have intime pake. So I packed. So I believe she was going to say she packed her things or something. But then the host cut in here. So she said, so the host came in by saying tobo, right? Tobo. When you say tobo, you are saying calm down, okay? Have patience, tobo. So you use this when you are speaking with someone and you use this, you mean hold on, right? Hold on. So calm down, wait, right? Hold on, tobo. Oye wuhuadie. Oye wuhuadie. Ye means to wed, to get married to someone properly. Right? When you hear someone who are dear, you get married to the person, you wed the person, right? So if it's traditional, you go to you know the lady's um, family and then you follow all the processes to get married properly to the lady. We say why you don't want dear. So the host is asking, or yeah, dear, did he marry you? Did he wed you? Okay, so please, he married me, he got married to me. So she's the rightful wedded wife of the guy. We have DA, which is what? The question word, what? What is it that he was doing to you? So we said, yeah, is to do. And we said, if you place re in front of a verb, you turn that into the progressive form. So re ye means to be doing, right? To be doing. So na oye what was it that he was doing to you? Pachao abrante no nibu fua e wasese nuane agu fridge. Me pachao abrante ya no nibu fua na wasesa nuane agu fridge. So again we have abrante which is a young man. So abrante no the young man. Nibu fua Bufu is a phrasal verb that means to be or to get angry. Okay, so when you get angry, we say wubuafu. So I can ask you, wubuafu. And if you are angry, you would say ani wubuafu. If you are not angry, you would say debi mibunfu ye. Debi mibunfu ye. So abrantia no, nibufua. The young man, when he gets angry, right? Anytime that he gets angry, now wasesa nyane egufrijim. Sesa is a verb that means to gather stuff. So to pick stuff from somewhere, right? So if you have stuff on the floor, for example, and you pick them up, so not just one thing, but multiple things, and you pick them up, we say osesa, right? Osesa, you are gathering the stuff, you are picking them up, right? So let's say I have candies on the floor and I say sisa tofeno. Okay, sisa tofeno. It means, you know, pick them up, pick the toffees, right? If it's just one candy, one toffee, I would say fatofeno, right? Fatofeno, pick the candy because it's one. But if it's multiple, then I'll say sisa tofeno. So let's say you have shirts on, for example, your bed. I can say sisa ntadien free mpanaso. Sisa ntadien free mpanaso. But please take note that this is sisa. Sisa. 
right sisa there's also another verb that is spelled the same way but it's produced with a nasal effect right and that is sisa so there's sisa to change right sisa and then there is sisa sisa you would have to listen to this multiple times from different sources to be able to make up the difference but the to change comes with a more nasal effect so it's like it's produced from within the nose right so you say sisa sisa so i can say sisa usubain but then i say sisa mpabwa the free for more sisa mpabwa the free for more so me pacha o abranti eno ni bufu wa na wasisa nyane egu fridge mu so we have nyane which we just learned from a vocabulary lesson on food it's linked up here so we just learned from that that uh, food is a diane right and we said the plural of that is nyane foods right so nibufwa when he gets angry na wasisa nyane egu fridge so we have fridge fridge which is like the broad form of fridge right so this young man that she's married to when he gets angry he will just pack the foods and put it in the fridge this is weird na watum na watum now this i think is where the problem is so we have tum which is from tumu and tumu means to lock something up so abrantie no nebufu a na wasesa nuane agu fridge na watu so this young man when he gets angry he he packs he gathers all the food and then he puts it in the fridge and then he locks it he locks the fridge empire that's not to 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 she was continuing but the host cut in again but she said mpa ye daso no obeyi so we have mpa which is the bed there is akunya as a chair and then there's mpa as a bed so i can say kofi da mpa so kofi sleeps on a bed okay she says mpa ye daso the a here is the relative pronoun that okay so mpa the bed that right ye daso no da is to sleep we just said kofi da mpa so is kofi sleeps on a bed right so mpa ye daso no the bed that we sleep on obeyi we said this bed is the future tense marker well so obeyi he will remove right so mpa ye daso no obeyi the bed that we sleep on he will remove or he will take off i don't know what it is maybe the bed sheet or something but she didn't finish the host cut in tobo 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 so tobo 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 means calm down right have patience but in conversations you use this to say hold on hold on hold on nyane bi tsedi nyane bi tsedi so we have nyane as food and she's asking in yani bi to said yin which kinds of foods right what kinds of foods are we talking about here in yani bi to said yin pa che ni yani bi to say brodia banche bayure ni yan won na kwan me pa che in yani bi to say brodia banche bayure ni yan won nyina kwan and pay attention to how she says the brodia she says it with the r in the middle right so she says it in a way that you hear the er uh sound in the middle and i want you to pay attention to this because i believe she speaks more of a kwapim chi in kumase in asante chi you would mostly hear people say this as body without the er uh sound body yeah yeah body I didn't just pick that she speaks more of Ekiapim chi from this because for this one 
Even in Asante Tree, you would hear people say Brodier sometimes, even though Brodier is more common. But there's another clue of, you know, her speaking Ekiapim Tree ahead. When we get there, I'll point it out to you. So she's saying, Enyanibi to say Brodier Banche Bayere again from our food vocabulary lesson, which is linked up here. We know Brodier or Brodier as plantain, right? plantain we know banche as cassava all right and then we know bayere as yam so in to say brodie banche bayere foods like um, plantain cassava yam nyayanwa nyayanwa again from our food vocabulary lesson we had noa which is to cook right so if you say nyayanwa, you are saying cooked ones. So the ones that have been cooked, right? Nkwain. Nkwain is soup, right? Nkwain soup. So when this young man is angry, he will just pack their foods into the fridge and lock it. And the host asked, which kinds of foods are we talking about here? And she's mentioning some of them. Mo fridge, you know, where are you? Safawum. Mo fridge, you know, Safawum. So we have a e, which literally means this. But when you are saying something and you can't remember the name of something that you want to put in, we are able to use this a e as a filler word to replace that. You know, before we get to remember what we want to say and then we replace it back with the name. Okay? So when she asks, my fridge, you know, a e womb, she's asking literally, your fridge. Is there this in it? But the this is being used here because she can't remember the name of what she wants to put there. All right? So I can say, Fre e imame. Okay? Or, Ukufia, Fre e imame. When you go home, call this for me. But I'm only using that because I can't remember the name of the person that I want you to call. Right? But if I remember, or if you ask me, Hwain, then I will say, oh, Fre Kofimame, right? Fre Kofimame. Safawum. Safawum. Now she remembers what she wanted to put there. Safawum. Safwa is a key, right? We have Safwa as a key. And we have Credu as a lock, a padlock. So she's asking if they have a key on their fridge. Pachel you. Me pachel you, right? Me pachel you. So this is the clue. This is what I was talking about. You know, in a Kuyapim Chi, yes, it's you. You, okay? In a Santi Chi, it's Ane. But in a Kuyapim Chi, it's you. So if you ask someone a question and a person responds with you as yes, it suggests that the person speaks more of a Kuyapim Chi, okay? So she's answering that with me pachel you. Yes, please, all right? So in Asantichi, this would have been the Pachel Ani. On one aye, we have ye, which we said is to do or to make. Alright? Now, in a previous lesson, we said if you add ara to a subject pronoun, you use it to intensify it. Alright? So, for example, we have me, which is I. If I add ara, we get miara. Or Mia, which is I myself. So if I want to say I did it myself, I myself did it, I'll say Mia na me ye. Mia na me ye. If I want to say he said it himself or he himself said it, I'll say Onwa na okai. Onwa na okai. So here she's saying Onwa na ye. He himself did it, right? So she's wondering. If, you know, the husband did that, engineered the lock by himself. We have crocro, -cro, and crocro -cro is a type of lock system where you push, you know, something into a hole. You know that lock where you have a hole here and then you push something in and then you put a lock, right, a padlock to lock it. We call that crocro. -cro. So she's relating this to some ones that she saw where the person had engineered that kind of lock system on his fridge. 
Anache. 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 So please, as for this one, it's not the crocro type. Okay, so we have way as this. And I told you, if you place this dear after something, you are saying as for, right? So we dear and yet crocro dear. As for this one, it's not, you know, the crocro type. <laughs> Many a brandy be a warrior. Now I read the monomy said, The warrior men a man caught me, my horn of my old cum me. Timmy Pacay, or ye will my dear, Pacho ye may one day. Then I know you, my Pacho, a brandy and a new bouffoir, it was a senior near good freedom. No what tomb, and pie does not talk to you. And your name is a day, Pacho, and your name is a broad dear banche by your near young one and quine. Then I'll be back here with Fridium. Now I'm going to go Fridium where you are. It's a phone. But you're you. I want one eye because I'm going to be Fridium. I want to be Fridium. I want to be Fridium. I want to be Fridium.